Good day, models. It's Pixie here. Today we're playing Worlds Adrift, and I want to show you how to do some more advanced stuff on the ships. Last time I showed you how to build your basic ship, starting by gathering uh, resources and uh, getting a ship into the sky. This time I will be showing you how to build a custom ship, and I will show, be showing a bit about engines as well. Hope you're all excited. Let's get started on the custom ship building. First thing you do is you come to a shipyard, select one of the ships, and hit edit. This pulls up a little uh, wireframe diagram of the current ship loader. This is the skiff, I believe. So if we want to extend this forward, we just grab the big box and pull it forward. This red box and pull it forward. And we can also uh, edit these notes here. Ooh. What just happened? I'm not sure what just happened. Ugh. Okay, so the nose went way over there. Where's my mouse? Off to a good start, aren't we? Found it. So let's say we want a sort of sleeker design. One more narrow profile. Also, this should come way up. Same height as everything else. And there are these small uh, pink bits here. These control like the frame of the ship uh, when it is being constructed. So between the major points. Now there are no horizontal uh, nodes for that, but I'm doesn't matter too much. Uh, you know, you can't edit between it, but I guess you can just pull them those close and further. So once you have a design that you're happy with, you can begin building a ship. You can also add like a top deck here. Maybe add a bit of buckle there. And you've got yourself like a little captain's cabin where you can steer from they put the sail on top but I have one pre-prepared for us and I put that under the dinghy yes I'll save schematics and very very important you hit save whenever you are done with your schematics so here's the ship I built pretty nice right so I'm thinking pilot here Engines up here on the back there. Uh, essential equipment down here somewhere. And then maybe a cannon up top. Personally, I really like that design. Uh, you might disagree, but I suppose we'll see when we f finish building it. Now, as always, uh, the material you use is very important. I've collected quite a lot of bronze, so I'll be using mostly that. And... Birch. I'll use this birch first. No, I want it. Buttons. Always lots of fun. And let's hit crap. Actually, let's rename first. We don't want it to be the dinghy. We want it to be the... What do we want to call it? Sky Blazer. With two Zs. Perfect. And while that is under construction, we will build some new parts for it. First and foremost, we'll need the essentials, the sky core and the helm. Now, something I had to warn you about, when you're building your ships, something like this might happen. So, see how there's a slight, uh... Ugh. Hold on. A slight level difference in the, uh, the floor here. So that has caused a uh, gap in my uh, my construction, so uh, I will need to build the decks manually, assuming they fit in. Let's hope that they do. So we go to Structural and select Deck. And it appears as if they do not. They don't want to go in there. Okay, so I've managed to fix it, but... 
do that, I've had to go back into the, uh, the designer and scrap my ship for parts. So I, it did cost me a bit because I don't get all of the materials back, but I got about half of them. So lost a bit, but overall it's all good. My ship looks beautiful again, and we can continue on. So one thing I have to stress is that you will want a sail on your ship, even if you're not really planning to use it that much, even if you think, oh, I'll just use engines all the time. I must insist that you, there's not enough room to craft the sail. Okay, so I'll make another one of these. Even if you think you're just going to use your engines all the time, I must insist you get a sail as well, because should you run out of fuel while out there, you'll be stuck. Trust me, that's happened to me, I think, twice now. So, just use a sail. Just throw it on the top somewhere. Anywhere will do. So does this constrict its movement at all? Just need to check this. Hmm. I can move it forward. So that should leave room for the cannon as well. Now something you're going you're to want on your ship is a personal reviver. These things are a literal lifesaver. Should something happen and you fall into the abyss while you're flying your ship, there will be no way to get back to it unless, of course, you have a personal reviver. Now, let's say you're flying your ship, you l try to land it on this planet's surface, and I don't know, something happens. You jump off thinking that it's just going to gently coast to the ground, but you miss and it flies off the edge. You could, theoretically speaking, get it back. What I would recommend is build a chest, put all your stuff into it, and then jump off the edge. So that, that way, you don't lose a ton of stuff, like I've done a few times. Now, for the engines, you need a power generator like this one here. For the piping, I'll use bronze just because I have tons of it. And for the casing, uh, let's go for wood. Because that's exactly what you want your fuel container to be made out of. Look at it. It looks beautiful. What does it look like in birch? About the same. Here we go. Now, in order to power the generator, you're going to need fuel. You just get them from these things here. In just three shots, you get 25 fuel. That's one quarter of the generator's capacity. And they can generally be found everywhere. Like, honestly, like, just walk around, you, you'll see some. Sometimes they are inside of, oh, frame rate. Sometimes they are inside of these, like, tucked inside. Normally you can tell, but maybe just give them a shot just in case. So, now onto the engines. We're going to be using the Piped Smoky E2. It's one of the two engines I have. The other one is the Square Frame Smoky A2. Uh, the reason we're using this one over this one is because this one is slightly more fuel efficient and I think the power is the same, isn't it? Yeah, power is the same. And a slightly faster spin up, which is always nice. So we'll be using copper for the combustion internals and the mechanical internals. As for the, uh, the casing and propeller, we'll be using birch because it's a pretty strong wood. It has a bit of weight to it, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as oak, which, uh, eh, it is pretty heavy. So let's begin crafting. So now, I'm going to be placing these on the back of my ship here. There we go. And do I need a second one? I might want a second one. A second one would be good for symmetry, of course. So we'll go for a second one. But first, I should check to make sure we're not too close to the weight limit. Oh yeah, we got about 200 pounds left. 300. There we go. Twin engines. And we could add some paneling to that to make it look less odd, but I think it's fine. So, uh, before we hit set off, let's come over to this. Come on. Come on, work with me. Let's 
There we go. The way I, th I see it working is you have to jump up to the ceiling and hit E up there and then hold it to refuel the fuel. So we've added 100 units of fuel. We have 91 in reserve and we have a sail in case everything goes wrong. So, oh wait, wait, before we leave. There we go. We are now registered to the personal receiver. So if everything goes wrong, we just come right back there. So without further ado, let's take off. Now where to next? How about this island over here? Looks like a nice spot. Or perhaps that one there. Looks like it has like a lighthouse or something on it. I'm always interested to investigate islands with structures on it. I don't know why, it's just, it's just, I don't know, more interesting, I suppose. And now, let's throw the engines on. Full speed ahead. I look back to see that we can't see them. But we can see that we're moving quite quickly. If you look down there. Aha! Well, I suppose that's going to be all from me for today, models. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time. Good night. Watch out for the fan blades! Ah, I'm, I'm fine, models. I'm fine. Ooh. We are very high up. Sorry, just before we leave off, I, I wanted to try something. I built that little ship there. And I thought, why not? Just take a couple shots at it. Huh. I... I I'll, uh, swing around. Okay, take two. Come on. Yeah! Get some! <laughs> That's actually pretty great. If I can hit the... What's it called there? The Atlas Core. I should be able to just knock it out of the sky, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him! Damn it, I can't, I can't go any higher. I think I'm about to collide with this. You're hard! Gotcha! Come on. Get the sky generator. Come on. How many cannon shots does this thing take? I've hit it quite a few times now. I think that's me at my edge. Yep. Alright, raise her up. I turn hard. And kill the engines. It does look knackered, doesn't it? But I think I made it out of iron, so that might just explain that. Actually, if I made it out of iron, that would explain why it's so tough to destroy. Yeah, I think I had just a lot of spare iron on hand, and I just thought, hey, just throw it onto the ship. <coughs> Can't think, if I was shooting at this ship, it probably would go down a lot faster, because it's mostly made of... <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. Oh, yeah, uh, it probably go down a lot faster because it's mostly enough wood, but that's mostly iron. I, I, I literally built that ship just to be a dinky little ship just to blow up, but I made it all out of iron. I didn't even think about it. Oh, that was a very silly mistake on my part. Okay, try it again. Oh, oh. There she goes! And that, everyone, is the essence of Sky Combat. Uh, I don't really have anyone else to play this game with, so... I can't really do a proper battle. 
Uh, maybe I could ask some of my friends. See if anyone would be interested in doing a co-op with me. But until then, mortals, this has been Worlds Adrift Advanced Shipbuilding Simulator. And until next time, good night.